Ethan Ewing up against Kelly Slater in the non-priority heat. So the clock's on between those two. They got 36 minutes on the clock, Kaifu Girl. Ewing. During the break, it started with this. Yeah, a little belly takeoff for Kelly here. And swooping away. That looks really groovy. Board looks really, really good under his feet there. Goes to hit that second section, but just goes down. But yeah, I think there's there's a lot to be said about Kelly. I mean, I mean, there's and there's also what hasn't been said. I mean, here he is right now, up and riding. Slater, just up and out. So still fishing for something, for, but he's just staying busy. Prone takeoff here, getting caught up and punching out the back is Ethan Ewing. I thought he was going to pull into that little chunky section for a second. <laughs> Yeah, I feel just because that prone takeoff, he just yes. didn't have the speed. Slater here, stalling off the bottom. A little chatter on the face for Kelly, and this wave goes wide into the channel once again. So the the, the interview coming out, my takeaway with, from Jordy's interview is that he's confirming what we've been talking about. <laughs> and we call him Honu in Hawaiian. There are turtles in the channel. There's Ethan Ewing on the face and slashing here. Nice layback hack there, nice leverage in that turn from the surfer from North Stradbroke. Ewing, sharp as always on the rails. Uh, you know, a couple of false starts, a couple of fractional fractional scores to begin with, but now he finally put it together on a wave. As we break it down here, and this first section just absolutely jamming it in the pocket there. Throws that back arm in the lip, just so it's like sort of that bit of variation, that layback hack. and. Even these couple of little calves on the inside here, just really beautiful to watch. But that right there, that, that was a pretty hard manoeuvre to go for. It made it really, really critical. He probably identified that this wave was going to fatten out so quickly so he could put it all on the line here. Like, hey, okay, I might only get this one section. Let's, let's really go to town here. And he absolutely did. I mean, he obviously got those two smaller calves afterwards, but I mean, he, knowing this wave was dissipating in size, he was like, hey, let's just put it all on the line. Gets a 5.5 for this performance. So mid-range score, 5.5 uh, just off of the, really. I reckon he probably will get another opportunity. It should be pretty exciting. But bad news for him is that Rio has priority, but Ethan seemed to get a wave. Ethan Ewing picks off this one from under the pack. And Ewing, just a nice series of cutbacks on the DHD. Always clean rail game. This wave gives him a little extra section on the inside. And Ewing capitalizes on that right before it hits, hits the channel. So good heads up surfing by Ethan Ewing, kind of cruising through the beginning and then a nice exclamation at the finish. It's super important to respect the people that live there. You go there and yeah, you want to catch a lot of waves, you want to learn the break, but you can still learn the break kind of just by being out there. Um, oh, Kelly goes swan diving right there, but um, it's important to um, have that respect, to, to, to gain respect as well. Ton of energy going different directions as we have the goat up now. Kelly, big whip, controls it. Stretches this one out in front, fades a cut in. We'll try to chip away at the lead that Ethan has on top of him. Kelly turning 52 on February 11th. Got how to enjoy this and then dominate it as well as we see last to Kelly, Jesse. Yeah, I just clean surfing for him right there, just um, on rail the whole time. Unfortunately, that wave didn't give him that second Steeper ball. Jadi saya akan lebih semangat dan tetap dukung. Terima kasih. Ah, it just makes you want to book a flight to Indonesia. Hearing that, it's uh, obviously surfer's paradise where he comes from and Rio Wida happy to be. And when you were on tour, looking at different disciplines. Yeah, that really hit home just because that's kind of how I was or am growing up. You know, sports were my life. So whether it was surfing or anything else, here's Kelly on a bomb. Kelly now with some speed. There's the wind-up. This clean wrap to get going. Speed shoving him down the line. He'll just chip one off the top quickly. Still chasing a 6-1-7. Yeah, what a way to find a sneaky wave under priority. Very clean. And um, also we see Kelly right here. A little bit flatter wave, unfortunately, for him. And hit that um, like inside bowl in a weird angle once again just not finding it you would have just like being right there and, and ready to go and then that and then kind of you know not getting the opportunity right away to work your way back is uh 
there's something special about that persistence to being strong like that. It, in, I guess that's that kind of wise thing. You don't lose until you really give up. So he, he's he's back and proud of him. It's pretty rad. Yeah, had some success as well. I my wild cards when we went to watch him up or Rottnest Island in WA. Oh, Slater on the ropes, six one seven. Yeah, deep, big number for today. With these challenging conditions, he does have priority, though. It's all about just getting into the right situation at the right time. Kelly's going to lean on this wave to try to turn this heat. Going for his carving wow. three, and he gets it. That's one of his signature moves. That is incredibly challenging, especially in these kind of waves. Hit the valve ball. But is it enough to show the judges he's won this heat? His girlfriend Kalani loves it difficult that turn actually is to do mostly out here at sunset you got to go beyond vertical right there and maintain your momentum throughout the whole turn in order for you not to get stuck or catch a rare or anything and lean forward too much i just really don't know what they're what the how the judges are going to digest that one brett your opinion on that carving three <laughs> gosh i don't know i'm just kind of Obviously, I'm just glad. I guess in his Kelly's position, when you're out there with less than a minute. And Ethan continues to be one of the favorites to win this contest at the Hurley Pro Sunset Beach. And probably a big sigh of relief when the judges take that long.